is Jesse, and this is Miss Late Pages. And uh, if you're a returning viewer, this might look a little weird to you. Um, this is a little bit of a different setup. Uh, we're doing something different today. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. Um, I'm happy to have you. Uh, this is an interesting video for you to start on. So welcome to a very special edition of Miscellaneous Monday. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you some new releases that are coming out uh, at the Needlework Expo that is happening March 6th through 8th. It's going to be a virtual market um, that is happening this year. Um, I believe it's their inaugural year to have this particular event. It's certainly the first time they've done it virtually, and it's really, really exciting. It's my first chance to be a retailer at a retail or retailer-only event, so I'm super happy and excited to share all of these new releases with you. Uh, now, let me preface this by saying... I'm sharing a bunch of new releases with you. This is by all means not all of the new releases, so this is just scratching the surface. Uh, what I've done is I've gone through and I've picked out some of the designers that I'm really familiar with um, and some newer designers or designers that are newer to me uh, whose pieces I thought were really interesting. So I'm going to show you stuff that is interesting to me, but if you want to see all of the new releases that have been published so far, you can check out the Needlework Expo Facebook page where they're sharing all of the stuff that the designers are sharing um, and, and all that sort of stuff. So um, I will also say as much as possible, I'm setting up pre-orders for these, um, these particular designs in the uh, Etsy shop. You can get the link to that in the uh, description down there as well. Uh, so the Needlework Expo Facebook page will be linked. Um, my, my Etsy shop will be linked. And if there is a design that you are absolutely in love with that you don't see a pre-order, um, excuse me, listing for in the Etsy shop, just shoot me an email. A lot of these designers are doing pre-orders for the show and uh, it's entirely possible that I could still get that for you even though I haven't set up a listing. I'm happy to set up private listings and custom listings and all that sort of stuff. Just let me know what you're seeing that you um, that you really want to have and I'll be happy to uh, to facilitate that for you. So uh, with that let's get into it because there there's a lot of stuff um, and I have um, I tried to be selective but this is a lot y'all so let's get into it. Needlework Expo 2021. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. So, Lindy Stitches has some fantastic new patterns coming out. Um, she is putting out Jackalopian Tapestry, which is so cute. So, a jackalope, for those who aren't aware, um, is a bunny rabbit with reindeer ears or reindeer antlers. <laughs> Jackalopes are super fun. And this pattern looks like it's um, typical Lindy Stitches style. Um, super cute, super fun. Um, I love the border on this too. Uh, you'll see on my page here, um, I've set up a handy dandy. Um, PowerPoint presentation for you so you'll see all of the pertinent information including the size of the chart as well as the price of the chart and um, the um, information about how the model was stitched. So the next piece that Lindy Stitches, this is one of my favorites, Edna Goes to Brunch. Um, so Lindy Stitches is really well known for, um, for creating bird charts um, and any of you who've been following me for a while you know that I love her birds. Um, so this new burb is just the cutest thing ever. I can't even. I'm, I'm going to have to get that for myself. Pardon, I have some iced coffee <laughs> today because I totally need more buzz after putting all of this stuff together, right? Um, but yeah, so Edna Goes to Brunch, definitely one of my favorites. And a few more from Lindy Stitches. Hedgehog House. This one is so cute. Look at the tiny hedgehog on top of the tiny house. How cute is that? Um, this one is a small. It's 57 by 57. So that's going to be a super, super quick stitch. Um, and it is so cute and fun. And then last but not least, uh, this is a kit that has been previous, previously released. Blah, 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 words. Um, it's been previously released. She is putting together a limited number of kits for this particular pattern uh, that will be on sale at the expo. Um, shops are only allowed 10 per shop. So um, whatever number I get will be very, very limited. It will not be more than 10. It does include the linen that you need for the project, um, the Weeks Dye Works flosses, the Lady Dot Creates chenille. It includes the velveteen and cotton print, as well as the birthday candle pins. And you can see those, I'll, I'll do my, um, <laughs> my cursor over here. So those little birthday candle pins come with the kit as well. Um, so that is something that I think is really exciting. And I think this may be the last time she's releasing this particular pattern. So that might be something you wanna check out. Uh, let's see. 
Luminous Fiber Arts. I'm super excited. There's one particular chart. It's the first one. Um, I am so excited about this new release and I hope y'all will be too. Gathering Clover. So if you've been following, you know that Gathering Berries is one of my favorite charts that I have started. Um, and I'm doing it in Bing Cherry, which is one of my favorite reds. It's from Color and Cotton. Um, and I love, 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 love the chart. Um, it turns out this is going to be a series. I believe there's two additional charts that are come into, going to come into this series. The next one is being released at um, Needlework Expo. And it is Gathering Clover. And it is Darling. I have to have it. Um, she's also releasing Spring Scamper. I just realized that I did not bring my, I did not pull my show notes. <laughs> I'm going to have to get those. Hold on just a second. Okay, I got my, I got my chart notes. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, Gathering Clover is the second in what will be a four chart series. I am here for it, y'all. I am so here for it. Uh, Spring Scamper um, is, I believe, also part of a series. Um... It's time for Spring Scamper, an annual race to the tulips to see who is the fastest animal. A bunny and chick are leaping into the lead while their friends race to catch up in their carrot mobile. A chick in a radish plane flies overhead, towing the race banner while tossing carrots like confetti down on the competitors. <laughs> that sounds so fun. Look at the little animals, y'all. So there's a chicken riding a carrot with two bunnies. And there's a baby duck riding another bunny. And there's butterflies and there's flowers. And it is... Oh, so sweet. It is so, so sweet. Um, it's the cutest thing ever. So, um, you just, you can't go wrong with that. Um, it's probably not something I would particularly stitch, but it is so, so, so cute. Um, let's see. Misty is also putting out a friend, um, this is the one that's part of the series. So this is another piece in the friendship series. This is BFF Bunnies. And the series... Um, each design is inspired by a friendship theme. BFF Bunnies honors those close, long-lasting friendships we have with our besties, best friends forever. Like all best friends, BFF Bunnies has many interests in common, or have many interests in common, such as love of carrots and nibbling on clover. Pattern includes an alphabet so that stitchers can add their initials and those of a cherished friend. Um, so that is super, super cute. Um, this is the first design in the series. Playful cats and stashing squirrels are coming in the fall. So this will be the first of a series, um, Friends Forever series, and they are just the cutest. They are so cute. And we've got these, um, <clears throat> I just realized I don't think my cursor is in the right place. You probably can't see my cursor. That's okay. <laughs> I'm still figuring out the screen share thing, y'all, so bear with me. Um, but this pattern is super, super duper cute. Um, some other patterns from Misty. These are not new. These were previously released, but a lot of designers will take orders for previous patterns um, at shows like this. Um, so if you're not super familiar with Misty, here are some of her other designs. Uh, Gathering Berries, of course. Uh, fantastic. Uh, we also have um, the Playful Cats um, friendship series and a Robin's Discovery is down there in the bottom right. The Robin sitting on top of the Easter egg basket with the bunny. So those are super cute. Um, so those, <clears throat> I'm not sure, I haven't been buying um, Gathering Berries for the shop because this past year um, Misty has been collecting the proceeds from those charts to help support um, her, uh, a family member who has cancer um, to help support their uh, payment of the treatment for the cancer. So I have been just sending people to her website so they can buy directly from her and she can get the most proceeds possible. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but I believe that she was doing that just for the first year of the pattern. Um, so I may actually go ahead and buy some of this chart directly from her at the expo um, because even though it's wholesale prices, that money is going directly to her instead of through Hoffman's or whoever else. Um, so I may actually start carrying this in the shop. It's one of my favorite patterns ever. Tiny Modernist has some fantastic stuff coming um, and she also has show exclusives. So Mermaid Garden is uh, one of the first show exclusives that she is offering for this particular expo. Um, this is 102 by 102, so it's a medium sized pattern. It is super, super cute. Um, we all love a redheaded mermaid. Now personally, when and if I stitch this, I'm gonna have to change the, the skin tone and the hair color, mostly because I'm seeing a darker skin, dark haired mermaid. I think that would be super cool. She's also releasing, and I am super, super in love with this one, 
be your own beautiful. Um, so a quartet of chickens, surround the quote, be your own kind of beautiful. And this is fantastic. I'm in love with it. I don't normally do chickens. Chickens are not normally my thing. Um, but I love, love, love this pattern and I'm going to have to have it. I'm so here for it. So I'm not sure if these are exclusives from the standpoint of they will only be available um, to folks at the expo for a certain period of time and then they will be released to the general public after or if this is exclusive as in they will only be available at the expo and you will not be able to purchase them elsewise. Um, so once I know if I find out um, I will certainly let you know but for the time being I'm operating the, on the idea that these are probably only going to be available at the expo. I am absolutely going to get copies of this if you want to make sure that I buy a copy for you, make sure that you let me know um, either by purchasing the pre-order listing in the Etsy shop or sending me emails to let me know. So more from Tiny Modernist. Uh, these are early releases. These are not exclusives. Um, <clears throat> Secret Garden. This one is beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, and it says, if you look the right way, you can see that the whole world is a garden. It's really beautiful. This is a really classic, fantastic piece. Um, and I, I'm here for it. Totally here for it. And this, Strawberry Cow, the Moo the Merrier, um, this is um, not exclusive to the show. However, it is a pattern for the show's theme. So the Moo the Merrier uh, is the Needlework Expo theme for this year. And many of the different designers uh, have collaborated to create a cow themed, <laughs> a cow themed cross stitch. Uh, this is Tiny Modernist's um, addition to that theme um, and is one of the cuter ones that I have seen, let me tell you. Love it. So this cute little cow with the butterflies and the strawberries, oh my gosh, super cute. So um, October House Fiber Arts. I'm not super familiar with October House but their patterns are so cute. I am in love. Let's see what they got. Cheerful Giver. Um, I think part of the reason that I love these patterns so much is because they're so simple and they have really inspirational um, quotes and themes and I'm just, I'm all about that. Um, so this is super simple, super cute. It's a little bit large to be considered a small, but it's still, you can see that it's not full coverage. Um, but I love the really simple motifs, the sort of Quaker style uh, shapes, and uh, be a cheerful giver, I think is just a fantastic message. <clears throat> love and joy. I love this one also. Again, very simple. This one's much larger, um, but it's just a really, a really nice, simple, and lovely design. So I'm, I'm here for it. Um, I love the, um, I love their font. Um, I love the design, the way they've done the, the letters. It's a little... Uh, primitive, but it's a little modern too. I really like it. More from October House. This one is awesome. So this is Floss Tube Friends. Um, and you can see, you can probably see, I don't know how well you can see the picture, but you can see that our Floss Tube Friends on the stitch here um, do have some variety of skin tones, which is awesome. I love to see um, designers put the representation in from the start. Um, I do think I would want to change a couple of the skin tones just because I think there, I feel like there could be more representation, but it is a super, super cute pattern. I am, I'm here for it. I'm going to say, is this a drinking game? <laughs> we should make this into a drinking game. Every time Jesse says, I'm here for it, take a drink. <laughs> um, oh, and I just realized this is the wrong picture. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen at some point that I was going to have made a mistake in the PowerPoint. So um, what should be here is not love and joy. It should be a picture of a chart that is uh, that actually says so blessed. Um, I will I will put a different picture in here or something. I might be able to overlay it when I go into editing. So yeah, I'll fix that later. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but it's another super cute, very simple, but um, elegant pattern. And um, I, I love their style. I think it's awesome. Hands-on Design uh, is doing some really awesome stuff, um, and in a minute you'll see they're also doing a collaboration or have been working on a collaboration with uh, Summer House Stitchworks. So, <clears throat> new and uh, awesome from Hands-on Design. Uh, we've got another Chalk Talk piece. This one is Let's Talk Spring. You get three charts. You get three different patterns with the chart pack. 
excuse me, so you get the large um, piece that you see framed in the picture, and then you get uh, the quilty pillow, um, which is 81 by 81, so that's a good size. And then you also get the design for that Hello Spring um, that they have in the hoop. So you get three separate patterns um, with this chart pack. <clears throat> and available at the show and probably afterward, there is a coordinating Zappy Dots Needle Nanny. Um, so a Needle Nanny is also known as a Needle Minder. So that is something that will be available. Zappy Dots is going to be at the show. Um, so that's something that they will, they should hopefully have available for ordering at the show. Um, but since Zappy Dots will be there, that also means that I can possibly get other Zappy Dots needle nannies for you if that's something you're looking for. And they're also doing, um, I don't know if y'all like these as much as I like these, these block party designs. There are two new block party designs premiering at Needlework Expo. The first is 31st, which as you can see is a Halloween themed one. Super, super cute. Um, so these are set up so that they have a top and a bottom design that are 58 by 58. And then you have a band that goes around the outside and finishing instructions are included. And I think usually um, the little fabric piece that you sew on to the top there is also included. I know that when I've had different um, block party patterns, that's been the case. So you get the finishing instructions, you do the band that's um, narrow but long. Um, and then you sew it all together. It looks really, really cool. Um, another really fun thing is that at the show, um, at the expo, they will have these um, <clears throat> these pins that go, these coordinating pins um, that say 3-1-ST, so 31st, and then the little pumpkin. Those should also be available at the show. Those are uh, Jabco. Um, Yes, just another button company. So those are pins that uh, Jabco puts out. So after the show, I'll be able to purchase them through Jabco theoretically, but they'll be available through hands-on design um, during the show. The other block party design is 25th. So this one is a Christmas themed one. And you can see that the, um, <clears throat> the Jabco pins are 25th and a little deer. Super cute. Uh, Rudolph, in fact, because it's red nose. Um, and you can see around the outside, of this particular block, um, you have all of the deer, um, the uh, the reindeer, Santa's reindeer. So that's super, super cute, really fun. The French Kitchen series is the um, collaboration between Hands-On Design and Summer House Stitch Works. These are kind of French provincial style, I guess you could say. <clears throat> I'm not going to try to pronounce the French versions of everything because I do not know French and I will just butcher it. So I'll save you all from that. The first piece um, from Hands On Design <laughs> is uh, Apples and Sage. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, Hands On Design did the autumn and spring um pieces of this collaboration and then uh, Summer House Stitch Works did the winter and summer, if I'm remembering that correctly. It's in my notes, but I've abandoned my notes. <laughs> I could go ahead and look. Let's see. Um, let's see. Yeah, so Summer House Stitch Works did winter and summer and um, hands-on design did fall and spring. Um, <clears throat> so the first part, and I believe this is fall, is apples and sage. Um, I love the way this looks. Um, you can see it's actually written in French on the design. Um, it's really, really beautiful. Excuse me. And then the, um, the spring pattern is strawberries and mint which is also, I love, there's a tiny little crow or a raven, a blackbird um, on the mint plant there. It's super cute. I love these. They're really, really awesome. I like them a lot. And then <clears throat> these are the Summer House Stitch Works um, pair. Um, so this one is summer, I believe. So this is pear and rosemary. Um, I love the fact that these are similar, but different. So let's go back. So there's definitely a similarity in the style, but you can tell that each one is done by a different designer. I think that's really cool. So they go together, but they have distinctive qualities to them. 
So again, here is Pear and Rosemary. It's really, really pretty. I love the yellows in there. They really pop. And then um, winter is blueberry and thyme. And those are really classic, beautiful designs. I love them. So <clears throat> a special thing to note about these, um, there will be a special limited charm pack. We'll see that in a second. Um, but also all of these designs have been set up to be finished on these um, kitchen clipboards. Um, these clipboards will actually be available for sale through the folks that make them. And I'm trying to remember who actually makes them. It's somewhere on my notes here. Uh, <coughs> I feel like I'm back in high school trying to do <laughs> a PowerPoint presentation. Um, so these are finishing horn books by Cabrin Mary Woods. That's the company that makes these. Um, they will be available for $34 a piece from that company. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, I'm probably not going to stock those in particular just because that is quite an investment for me. But if that's something that you're interested in purchasing, I'll be happy to try and get those for you. So um, they look really, really awesome. And then the last piece, um, and this is actually a collaboration piece. So each of those four other pieces, two of those were actually designed by Kathy at Hands-On Design, and the other two were designed by Summer House Stitch Works. So they were separately designed by those designers. Um, but this piece was a collaboration between the two designers. So um, <clears throat> the French Kitchen, which is this beautifully finished um, box, um, their thinking in making this was that you would store the, um, excuse me, the, um, the seasons that you weren't working with with your French kitchen set. So you'd stitch all of these, the four, the four individual boards and then this, and you would store the extra seasons in this box while it wasn't the, the appropriate season. But you could also keep recipe cards in this. Uh, finishing instructions are going to be available on the website or on a website uh, that is linked in the chart directly. Um, so if you're interested in stitching this and finishing it this way, there will be specific instructions for you. Um, and this is the charm pack that I was talking about. So these charms go with all of the designs that you just saw. Um, they will be available at the show, um, but they're going to be limited quality. Quantity. I'm sure the quality is going to be fantastic. The quantity will be limited. <laughs> <clears throat> So I just love this whole set. I think it's really, really cool. Now, Summer House Stitch Works has a couple of new releases coming out at the expo as well. They have a new Fragments in Time series for 2021. Um, I actually, I'm surprised, but I haven't seen um, parts one and two. I'm not sure why. <laughs> um, but this is how it worked last year with their Fragments in Time series. I caught on for like three and four and then finally saw all the rest of them. Um, but yeah, so uh, number three is coming out, which is this awesome octopus. I think he's so cute. Um, number four is also premiering at the expo, um, which is this beautiful lighthouse. So um, I, I think these are super cool. I love the direction they're taking um, fragments in time this year. So it's all tales from the sea. Everything is going to be related to the sea and the ocean. I think it's really fun. Silver Creek Samplers has a bunch of new stuff coming out as well. And I think these are super cute. Um, so first we have Lighting the Way, which is this gorgeous lighthouse. I love how straight and, and just like really organized the, the lighthouse itself is. <laughs> and it has this beautiful quote, always be a lighthouse, shine your beacon bright, guide every soul adrift at sea throughout their, their darkest night. Um, so the quote is awesome. Um, I'm not a huge fan of lighthouses personally. So if I were to purchase this chart for me, which I probably will, <laughs> but if I were to purchase this chart, I would honestly, I would stitch the quote and then I would put something else with it just because I'm not a fan of lighthouses. But if you like lighthouses, I think this is a fantastic one. Um, they are also putting out Lost and Found, um, which is this super cute sheep. I am a lost sheep gone astray. Shepherd, find me. This I pray. Oh, shepherd, listen to my prayer and keep me in thy loving care, which is a very sweet quote. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so that's, that's a much more, um, spiritual or religious type of pattern. Um, but I think it's super cute. They also have some really fun ones coming out. So this is Wicked Stitcher Society and we've got, um, a nice green skinned witch there. 
um, with a crow and um, a spool of thread and all that sort of stuff. Really cute. It's long, but it's short. It's it's long, but it's narrow, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So that would be probably a fairly quick stitch. And then we've also got Reaping Love. <laughs> I love you to death. <laughs> I think that's super cute. So that would be fun for a for an unconventional Valentine or for a Halloween pattern, I think. So, and last but not least, from Silver Creek, uh, this one is super cute. Butter, believe it. I have a lot to say. <laughs> Maybe you should get popcorn. <laughs> um, that's kind of me in a nutshell. <laughs> so this one is super super cute. I just realized that uh, my little. Um, picture in picture is on top of the uh, the price tag there. So this chart is going to be $12 retail, just FYI. Next we have a couple of new charts from Rosewood Manor, Karen Kluba. Let's see what they've got for us. Um, oh, feathers. And actually, let me get my notes because there's actually some additional information about these. Do, 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 do. Please hold. Here it is. <clears throat> I printed front and back on my papers, and so now I can't find anything. <laughs> um, so O Feathers, uh, you can see this is a really interesting peacock chart. Um, I love the colors in it. I love the, the way the tail fans out. This is actually a 10-page booklet. It includes two smalls and a fun welcome sampler, um, which are pictured on the back of the actual booklet. So you get this pattern, you get um, two smalls, and an additional fun welcome sampler. So this is a lot of patterns in one chart, uh, a 10 page chart. So that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> this has been uh, stitched with a, a pack, uh, like a proprietary pack of sulky uh, petite threads. Um, I believe that they actually list the individual, <coughs> excuse me, colors used. But um, I also believe that the specific pack of colors will be available from Rosewood Manor at the expo. Um, they're also releasing Griffins of the Kingdom, which is really cool. Um, I love the sort of like Germanic Norse feeling of the, the shapes that the dragons are taking. Um, this is a really cool one. This is also a 10 page booklet. It includes three extra borders, three extra bookmark designs, and a Griffin alphabet sampler plus a Griffin, Griffin protector sampler. sampler. So this includes a whole lot of bang for your buck. So if you love Griffins, if you love this style um, of stitching, this is a really good value. Just saying. <clears throat> also from Rosewood Manor, this is the first in a four, three part series. Uh, this is Whittlesford Cottage. Um, it's a biggie, it's 270 by 80, so it's narrow, but it's long. Um, and there will be two additional pieces released that coordinate with this. House on the Hill is coming in July, and The Village is coming in September. Um, so Karen is super, super excited about this particular, um, this particular series. Uh, she's really happy to debut it. Uh, so that is something new that's coming out. And the quote here says, The kiss of the sun for pardon, the song of the birds for mirth. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, one is nearer God's heart in a garden than anywhere else on earth. Um, so yeah, it's a, I think it's going to be a fun series. It's definitely a much more um, primitive style design, um, sort of sort of colonial, not quite colonial. Um, it's going to be an interesting group of patterns, I think. <clears throat> so that's Rosewood Banner. Um, the Elegant Thread is one I'm not super familiar with, but they have a lot of interesting stuff going on for the Expo. Um, so let's get into it. We have like three or four slides. They have a lot of stuff. So uh, first and foremost, this is their Moo the Merrier um, offering. Um, and I can't pronounce that. It's in French. Vache de Noël. Um, I think that's French. I'm not really sure. Might be Spanish. I have no idea. Anyway, it's a language that I'm not familiar with. <laughs> um, this is a cute 60 by 60 small um, and uh, would be super quick to stitch and if you love cows it's a must. They're also releasing uh, Royal Bluebird. Um, the bird is not quite my style but I do love the colors. I think it's a really interesting piece. It's very small. Um, these are 
Let's see. These are both Expo exclusives, as you saw. Um, so I don't know if that means that they will only be released at the Expo or if that means that they will be released first at the Expo, but it will take a while for a uh, general release. So we'll see which happens. Um, I will say that the Royal Bluebird um, actually has a finishing, a finishing kit available for it. Excuse me. Um, so it comes with, um, or it doesn't come with, for an additional cost, you can get the finishing kit by Lady.Creates. Um, and the finishing kit comes with, does it say? Uh, I thought this said. It doesn't actually say what the finishing kit comes with. But the finishing kit is retails for $14, just FYI. And I feel like the price on the pattern is wrong. I think that might actually be a $12 pattern. I'm going to have to look that up. <clears throat> there was an issue in the email, and I thought I fixed it, but now I feel less confident that I fixed it. So, <laughs> Also from the Elegant Thread, um, Les Jardins des Pépillons. I'm really bad at French. Um, so this is a really cute, pretty little sampler. Um, I love these butterflies. These butterflies are super cute. And then we also have Butterflies in the Grass, which is a uh, Biscornu pattern. And that is quite classy, I think. Oops. <laughs> let me get you, let me let you get the full, <laughs> the full effect. Um, so these were all, okay, those are new releases. I just skipped through, sorry. Um, these are the more interesting pieces, I think, because they have a lot of stuff that's actually um, designed to be stitched into things instead of designed to be stitched and framed. Um, so this is Rachel Sampson 1803 Ladies Sewing Pocket. Let me get my additional information here. Um, so historically, a pocket referred to a pouch worn around the waist by women in the 17th to 19th centuries. In these pockets, women would carry items needed in their daily lives, such as scissors, pins, and needles, and keys. Uh, the sampler was inspired by an antique. Patterns include cross-stitch, back-stitch, and Smyrna cross. <clears throat> so this does include some specialty stitches, um, but it looks really cute as a pouch, doesn't it? Um, I love the style of this. The letters are really, really fantastic. They're also releasing um, this Dutch Quaker Hussif. So a Hussif, because I didn't know this, so maybe you didn't know this, um, a small case or pouch for needles and thread um, and other small sewing items. The length, of fabric um, the length of fabric divided into pockets that may be rolled up when not in use. The term Hussif, um, also known as Husswife, Hussiv, first appeared in the Oxford English Dictionary in 1749, although the term has been in use since the 17th century. So um, this is basically a little um, roll-up pocket that you can use for needles and other sewing notions. Um, and <clears throat> even though the, the actual stitch design is not necessarily my cup of tea, the whole idea behind it is really awesome. I think it looks really cool. And, oops. I keep not being patient enough. Okay, let's get the full effect. There we go. Limited edition kits. Woo! Um, the Elegant Thread is one of the few uh, designers who have put out a lot of different categories of stuff. So in addition to show exclusives and in addition to new releases, there's also a couple of limited edition kits that they'll be bringing to the expo. One of them is Paris Button. <clears throat> so this is not as much a kit as it is um, fabric and a button, but... <laughs> But uh, you do get, do you? Oh no, you don't get the fabric, I'm sorry. The kit comes with the chart and the, the special wooden button with the Eiffel Tower on it. Um, so that's what this kit is. Um, if you like Paris and you love Parisian things, this might be for you. Um, it is a kit that, um, that I can certainly get for you if you're interested. I'm probably not going to try to stock these um, unless, that they're, unless there's a call for them. Um, but certainly if you're interested, I'm happy to try to get one for you. The other kit, this one's super cute. Uh, lobster dinner ornament. <laughs> and you gotta say lobster dinner. <laughs> 
This one is so cute. Um, so this one actually does come with all the stuff. So it comes with a chart, um, your stitching and finishing supplies, which does include your fabric and your floss. And it also includes um, the instructions for how to put this together. I don't think it comes with this mesh to use for the cage. Um, but it may, but they didn't say specifically. Um, as far as I know, it just comes with this burlap fabric, um, your floss, um, your uh, instructions, and other finishing supplies. Actually, it may, maybe it does include all that, um, include that little wire wrap thing. Regardless, it's super cute. It is so cute. I cannot get over how cute this is. Um, so this is a full kit that enables you to do the whole thing if that's something you're interested in. Um, lobster seems to be a thing people are into these days. Let me see. Okay, last but not least, um, this was a really cool thing um, that the Elegant Thread is having available at the show. So they um, have put out a cross-stitch cross project journal kit. <sighs> Say that three times fast. So the, the kit includes um, the binder, 10 cardstock quality, record pages, and clear sleeves to keep your patterns. Um, so it's basically a starter kit for keeping track of your projects. Um, so this is great, especially for new stitchers or stitchers who are fairly monogamous, um, because I know for a lot of us, 10 sheets is not going to get us very far. <laughs> But uh, if you're brand new, then uh, you know that might be something that would be really useful to you. Uh, now, if you do need more than 10 pages, they are selling refill, refill packs um, that include 10 additional pages. So the kit comes with 10 pages, I believe. Yes, 10 pages. Um, and then you can get refills for of 10 pages as well. And you can see here um, the, the pages that you get have room for pattern designer, pattern name, designer name, stitch count, date started and finished, the floss and fabric used, who stitched it, who you made it for, um, and additional notes and all that sort of stuff. So um, it's a really cute way to keep track of all your stitchy projects. RETM. Uh, so before I get into RETM, um, RETM is not sharing full previews. Um, so they're not going to release the actual images of their patterns until the expo. Um, so these are sneak peeks, basically, um, to give you an idea of what the patterns might look like when they do release the final images. So just know that. Um, so the first one that they're releasing, they're releasing four new um, charts at the expo. The first one is Charlie, which looks to be a sampler sort of style situation. Um, it's hard to tell much from the image except that um, there appears to be a person in the center of it. This might be about Charlie Chaplin. I'm not sure. Um, let it snow. This one looks super cute. You can see the hint of a reindeer there um, and some snowflake type motifs. Um, so I think it's going to be like a Quaker style um, Christmas winter themed thing. Um, that's a pretty large piece, but actually I think all of their pieces are large. Um, so Charlie is 187 by 306. That's, that's a pretty big, um, pretty big dude. Um, 170 by 239 for Let It Snow. They're also releasing Quaker Turtle. Um, and this one, based on the little bit of stitching that they're letting us see, that one looks really nice. Um, if you liked last year's Linen and Threads Quaker sampler, um, I think that you would like this one. This looks like it has a similar feel to it. Um, somewhere between like long dog designs and uh, last year's Linen and Threads. And last but not least, <laughs> um, I don't know about y'all, but I can't really tell what that last one is. Um, they're calling it Grumpy Old Men Celebrate Fourth of July. So my assumption is that there are um, some gnomes celebrating the Fourth of July. Um, so uh, that's what RETM is, uh, is offering for the expo. Um, okay, so those are all the, um, all the previews I have for you right now. I'm sure they'll keep rolling in, in the next two weeks. Um, as I'm filming this, we have 12 days until the expo. As of when this gets posted, which will be tomorrow morning, <laughs> or so tomorrow sometime, uh, there will be 11 days until the expo. Um, so you have about 11 days to um, to peruse this, to peruse the um, the Needlework Expo Facebook page, um, and let me know if there's anything that you're interested in having me pre-order for you. Um, you can also check out the um, 
the Etsy shop um, because the stuff that I'm specifically planning on trying to pre-order um, or purchasing at the show um, I will be listing as pre-orders which include these two beautiful charts here um, my favorite so far if I'm being totally honest is this be your own kind of beautiful with the chickens I just love for some reason this is really like I'm really feeling this pattern, so that's why I wanted to put it up here at the end. Um, also, a special note, um, to help prepare for the expo, um, to, to get some room in the shop and to, um, to get some additional capital to use for the expo, uh, I am going to be having a pretty big sale in the Etsy shop. So I have tons and tons of paper charts already listed in the Etsy shop. I'm going to have pretty much a you know chart-wide 25% off sale um, that should be starting tomorrow about the same time that I get this video live. So by the time you're seeing this, um, that sale should already be live. Um, you shouldn't have to enter any codes. I'm going to set it up so that basically it's just just an, an Etsy shop sale on. Um, so needle minders and fabrics and things like that that I have available will not be on sale, but paper charts, 25% off. So, um, so that's a thing. Um, so if there's anything in the shop that you have been um, just kind of watching and waiting, now is the time to purchase that. Um, not only will you get an awesome chart that is fantastic, but you will help me to, uh, to build up some money so that I can buy really awesome, fun, exclusive charts um, that are not even being previewed yet. So, because um, I have no idea what to expect at this expo. I think there's going to be a lot of awesome stuff. Several designers are saying that, they're only, that certain things they're only going to have available at the expo for purchase at the expo. Um, so there's gonna, there is gonna be a fair amount of stuff that you can't get um, even as a real retailer outside of attending the show. Um, so it's gonna be really exciting. It's probably gonna be really stressful and scary. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm excited, I hope you're excited. Um, and yeah, if, there's, if there are designers that you're looking for that I haven't mentioned here, because there are lots and lots of designers. Um, I know um, Michelle G, Betty Stitchy, uh, Michelle Garrett, she's working on her um, expo releases, but I don't believe she's published her, um, her previews yet. Um, I absolutely would have included her um, if, if I had seen that um, before I put this together. I know she's working on it, um, I just haven't seen the official release yet. Um, who else is working on stuff? Thistles um, has put is putting out some new releases. Um, uh, Putini Putini um, is putting out tons and tons of cute um, stitch counters and buttons. Um, I just they just had too much variety for me to put on here. Um, you know, there's lots and lots, tons of designers. Manny Didana uh, is putting out some new releases. Um, pretty much any designer you can think of. Annie Bees um, is putting out um, new designs. So anyway. Like I said, this, this little presentation is just scratching the surface. Um, these are just some of the ones that jumped out to me, some new designers that I hadn't heard of before um, or didn't have any familiarity with, um, and then also some of my favorite designers that had already um, published what they're, they're putting out for new releases. So um, if there are designers that you're still looking for, um, if there are patterns that you've already seen that are going to be available, like I said, just hit me up. Best thing to do is either message me through the Etsy shop. That's always a great way um, to get a hold of me for custom orders and stuff like that. You can also email me at mislaidpages at gmail.com. Um, that's a great way to get a hold of me. I would ask that don't, uh, I would ask you not to message me through Instagram for shop related stuff um, or um, Facebook for shop related stuff. If you do, it's not a huge deal. It's not a huge deal at all, um, but if you keep it to email or to the Etsy shop, that helps my brain keep track that it's a shop-related thing. So um, you can also hit me up here on YouTube if you like. Um, but again, the best ways to get a hold of me for shop orders and things like that are through the shop directly or through mislaidpages at gmail.com. So uh, if you've liked this, definitely hit that like button. Um, I won't always do videos just like this, but if you want to see more stuff from me, more content, um, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified anytime I put up anything on YouTube, definitely hit that little bell. Um, there may be more um, slideshow type videos for previews. Um, we'll have to see how much time I have. I do have to get listings set up, so um, I may not have time to continue doing this for all the things that are coming through because, um, yeah, there's, there's a ton of stuff. Um, best way to keep track of of what designers are doing what for the expo is to just hit up that Needlework, <clears throat> Needleworks Expo Facebook page because they are on it posting stuff all the time every day. So they have way more time to do that than I do. 
So that's the best way to, to keep tabs on that. But I will certainly keep you updated on stuff that I see that I think is awesome. Don't forget to check out the Etsy shop for the 25% off sale coming up. Um, that sale will be going on uh, starting tomorrow, Monday, the 22nd. Happy birthday, Rachel. Um, <laughs> that will start tomorrow, um, February 22nd, and will run until uh, the Thursday before the expo. So March 5th will be the last day for that sale. Um, so make sure you check that out. And uh, I think that's all I have for you folks. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I, hope I've, I hope I've shown you some designs that you love. Uh, maybe I've shown you some designers that you weren't familiar with. Um, and maybe you'll share some designers that I'm not familiar with because that's really exciting. I love to see new designers. I love to try new patterns. Um, so yeah, if you've, if you've seen anything awesome that I haven't uh, mentioned here, definitely let me know. Uh, and in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great week. I hope you're getting excited for Expo 2. Um, and make sure, always remember, this is your weekly reminder, your multi-weekly reminder. Make sure to stay hydrated, drink that water, make sure to take all the meds that you need to take, and remember that good enough is good enough. And I'll see you again next time. Have a great one.